There are a lot of things you can get from a Japanese vending machine. But did you know that a date is one of them? A date. Like you can go to a vending machine and buy a girl's phone number. <laughs> I'm not joking, but imagine calling her. Like how awkward would that be? Like, hey, I just, uh, you know, <laughs> bought your number from a vending machine. Nani? Like how does that even work? Also, you don't know anything about the girl. This is a horned beetle. <laughs> yup, you can buy a horned beetle from a vending machine. I love how like beside the horned beetles, there's just candy. Like, oh, you can either get candy or beetles. Same, same, right? Like, uh, chill, whatever. This is terrifying. Why? I mean, I know why bug collectors and I don't know, whatever else, but why? And do they bite? Because they look like they bite. Like, ugh. This vending machine sells you caviar. Yes, I feel like I'm extra fancy when I put up a finger. Like, look how fancy I am. But actual caviar, like that fancy food that fancy people eat. What I want to know is how much caviar can I get with one dollar? A vending machine that just spits out pizza. Okay, it doesn't spit it out, but you know, you know what I mean. You know how vending machines work. Pizza. But like when it comes out, like can't the toppings get all messed up? Like I wanna know, imagine it just slid onto the floor and who's making it? Is a vending machine fully making the pizza or has the pizza been pre-made and the vending machine is just cooking it? These are important factors. Also, another very important question is, how would you guys feel about me putting this vending machine right here, you know? And just like in the middle of my videos, I would just turn around, beep, 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 beep get a pizza. I mean, I'm not mad at the idea. It's a lot less work than calling Domino's all the time. Like, yo, I need pizza in my life. It's just like, press a button. A vending machine that gives you bananas? This is delicious. I just didn't know the bananas were in such high demand that they needed their own vending machine. Why bananas? Like they cool and all, but like, do we really need a banana vending machine? I guess it's healthier than like the candy vending machines and the chip vending machines. I guess. But still like, what? Was the grocery store that far away? Ah, nothing like getting your fresh vegetables from a vending machine. This is cool. They're actually growing plants, veggies, spices, who knows what, but they're growing it and it's fresh. I'm digging this, this is cool. Most people feel like pet shops are controversial, but what about puppy vending machines? I feel like this is like far past controversial and just cruel. How can you sell a puppy in a vending machine? And like, how, when you press the button, how does he come out? Does the door, what? Like, what if, what if? What? I have so many questions and I, I don't know. I don't know if I like this, the poor puppies. I hope they're not in there for very long. Like when I picture vending machine, I, I picture it like tumbling down, but this looks safer than that at least. But also like, don't you kind of want to like play with the puppy before you make it yours? This is a vending machine that sells breakfast ingredients. Not breakfast foods, breakfast ingredients. So you can go upstairs, fry some eggs, make some bacon, get some toast, get some yogurt and <laughs> breakfast. Whoa, way to guilt trip me, vending machine. <laughs> this machine organizes drinks from healthy to unhealthy. So they're like, drink plenty, water, milk, coffee, tea. Mm, I don't know how I feel about the drink plenty coffee because even when I drink one coffee, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but for me, I get like anxiety and I just, I, um, I just, um, I can't function anymore. That, that, if, way, way, way too much energy. Like can't deal. And I need to have like coffee in like small amounts, like half a cup. That's all I can handle. Big mistake otherwise. Drink occasionally, diet sodas, low calorie sugar drinks, 100% juice. And whoa, drink rarely, if at all, regular sodas, energy or sports drinks. Sweden coffee and tea. Okay, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. You shouldn't be drinking energy drinks all the time. Or Coke. I mean, unless Coke wants to sponsor me. I'm joking. <laughs> or am I? Whoa, are you really drinking that? I'm gonna judge you. Did you have a big fight with your girlfriend or boyfriend? Fear no more. This vending machine gives you flower arrangements. You know, just when you're on the go, you don't have time to go to a flower shop. Or maybe you got in a fight and it's 2 a.m. and all the flower shops are closed. Don't worry. They got 24 hour vending machines with floral arrangements. And honestly, they look pretty pretty. Like I'm liking this, but why doesn't this one have a light bulb? <laughs> Nocturnal flowers or what? Here we got the marine catcher. You know, those like claw machines that you can get toys with and it just never works because they're all scams. Japan has so much seafood that it's literally stuffed into vending machines. Apparently this is a claw machine with a lobsters. 
live lobsters but then like once you catch one and it takes it down like what are you supposed to do with it just you know walk walk home with your lobster like here's my lobster baby that i'm gonna cook <laughs> No refunds. Machine is equipped with sure vent system. If a product becomes stuck, which it always does, ugh, the spiral will turn until the product drops. If it doesn't drop, they refund your money. Wow, this this Millennium machine, it's it's intelligent, very intelligent. We should be concerned. This Skittles machine lets you control what colors you want and how much of it you want. So you don't like orange? No problem. No orange for you. I like this a lot. This vending machine comes with packages that have stories on the outside and then come with a mystery snack on the inside. Like here's the little story. Come on, what story? I want to see the story. See the story. There's a story. I definitely can't read this, but if you can, enjoy. <laughs> and then here are the secret little snacks. Oh, that's so cute. Are these like hand packaged? That's love right there. These vending machines have umbrellas. Why aren't these everywhere? Whenever it rains, I can't seem to find an umbrella anywhere. Like no stores sell umbrellas when it rains. Can't find an umbrella in sight. Or even worse, it rains and then I lose my umbrella because I leave it somewhere, you know, forget about it. Or it breaks in the wind. These vending machines are a necessity to life. Seriously. Oh, okay guys. This one, me no likey. I mean, I haven't tried it. I'm, I'm a big advocate of, you know, you can't knock it until you try it, but I kind of just don't want to try it, you know? This is a worm can of fish soup with a full fish. You see that? That's a fish drinking it out of a can from a vending machine. Ugh. I like fish and I would not have fish out of a can. I know it's a can, so it's not spoiled, but oh, 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 I just can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Mashed potato from a vending machine. <laughs> what? Where do these ideas come from? Who is like, yep, I'm gonna make a vending machine with mashed potatoes. You know, I just want globs of mashed potato to come out of vending machines and go into people's stomachs. I'm not hating on this, but I don't know if I feel comfortable grabbing mashed potatoes from a vending machine. I also don't know if I like mashed potatoes enough to crave them enough to go to a vending machine to get them. I don't hate them, but also like, really? I, I can't, I can't wait. I just need it that bad. This vending machine sells jackets. Make me look good, fam. Well, beep, beep, beep. I got you, fam. I kind of like this because you know what? I've been there when you didn't dress warm enough and maybe you just need a jacket. I don't know how like much money they make off of this because how many people really need jackets? How many people are stupid enough like me to like leave the house without enough clothing? I would use this. I would use this definitely. But to be fair, I am from Canada and the weather here just, it can't make up its mind. You know, the weather is drunk here. One day it can be boiling hot and the next day it can be snowing. And that's the type of country I live in. So to be fair, I could leave the house and be fine. And you know, it's warm, it's nice. And then an hour later, I'm freezing. Let me know if you can relate. Okay, mashed potatoes out of a vending machine. That was a kind of a no for me, but fries. Fries, I can handle that. Now this is a vending machine product I can get behind. I'll invest in this today for my own room, you know, beside the pizza machine, because why not? This vending machine sells treats for your pets, dog food, cat food, you name it. My only concern with this is I just probably wouldn't be paying attention and I just end up ordering myself some food, but really it's for cats. And then I'm eating it. I'm like, this tastes funny. And then I look at the package after I ate the whole thing and I'm like, oh cool, this is for my cat. Now you can buy your undies in public from a vending machine. I kind of feel like this is an invasion of privacy. Like I would feel awkward just going up to a vending machine and being like, yeah, I'll take a pair of the red undies. I kind of just want to buy my undies online or like, in the comfort of a store where there aren't strangers staring. Like, it's not really that weird. Now that I think of it, it's not really that weird. It's just like fabric. Like, why are we making it so weird? Why am I making it so weird? It's still a little weird, right? This might be less weird because like maybe you're like embarrassed to cash out of the cash register. You know, the, you think the cashier is kind of cute and you don't want her, her to, or him to see you buying undies. <laughs> you also probably need to get over that. I, I'm not talking, am I talking about myself? <laughs> I don't know. It's not just guy underwear. They sell ladies underwear too. And I say this is looks like it's in an underwear store. So I think it's what I just said. You're just too shy to deal with the human at the cash register. I mean, do you? 
Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Legos, my natural enemy. What if someone buys them and spreads them around the floor? Why not just sell chainsaws out of a vending machine? <laughs> this vending machine is awesome, I love it. So you can dispense your plastic bottles in it and it'll recycle them for you. In exchange, it'll give you food for stray animals. I hate that they're stray animals. Like, obviously not wild animals. Wild animals are good for it. But I mean like stray dogs and cats. I'm like, can they really take care of themselves? Probably. But sometimes I feel like they struggle. And they feel sad. This is an amazing vending machine. Basically, you can either buy a book from it, but you can also donate your books to the vending machine. And look how cheap it is. It's only $2 for a book. This is the biggest vending machine I have ever seen. It literally dispenses bikes. I guess nobody can steal the bikes if they're in the vending machine. Like, well, I guess you could. I don't know, once they're out of there. <laughs> Get set to jet set. I like that slogan. This vending machine is a lifesaver at airports. You didn't get a gift for someone, no problem, it got you. You didn't get a pillow for your flight, don't worry, it's got you. You didn't buy shampoo and conditioner, it got you. It pretty much has everything figured out. Bread in a can. This is so cute, look at it. Like, is it good? I don't know, but it's adorable. Who knew bread could be so adorable? Look at all the Pikachus. Sold. Say no more, fam. Somebody help me up, please. I mean, Pikachu. I like that Pikachu gets his own vending machine. Like, that's how popular he is. He, he doesn't need to share with anything else. Can you guys think of a vending machine I didn't mention on here? I actually didn't mention the typical vending machine that you see with the chocolate bars and the Cokes. Because I figured you all know, know about that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye.